Well, we're mowing hay today. I didn't get my crop check video put up yet, and I'm going to post it as soon as I get a chance. Have to mow hay today. This field here had a tremendous amount of Johnson grass on it. As you can see, well, we went in about three weeks ago and bush hogged it. This farm right here has a terrible, 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 terrible deal with Johnson grass. I always had. It's been a rough time to try to deal with it. But anyway, as you see, look right in there. We uh, went in with the bush hog and we bush hogged it. Cut it up sort of high. It's ugly to fight it, bad. But overall, it helped it. You see, we're mowing with a Komoda disc mower. This mower. But it. Uh, that was the only way I knowed how to make it work because the big stems in there, cows just will not eat it. That big stem Johnson grass is just a waste. And if you cut it up about knee high, uh, it works a whole lot better. But with the weather we've had, rain, everything else, we just ain't had time. So I mowed it back in May, mowed it again in the end of June. 1st of July, we put litter on it, done the same thing, we put liquid nitrogen on in February, so we was running short on chicken litter, and when chickens went out, we put litter on it after we mowed it. Well, of course, that just really gave the Johnson Grace a, a boost. So, we went in here and Bush Hawks it up sort of high. It ugly fight it bad. I really thought it ugly it meant to give it a shot. And but this is way down in the middle of nowhere. There ain't nobody for miles down in here. Yakin River's right over there. Uh, another Deer Haven country in here. Um, but anyway, that's what we've done. You can see some of the shaft junk down in there where we bush hog. It's gonna pick it up when we rake it. But with the good grass, what my grass is here, we mow, I believe the cows will uh, pick through it to the point to where it'll be all right. They've got uh, dry through, they got a 20% Monday, took going out Tuesday. And now they throwed in one on Wednesday. Well, I decided I'd go ahead and mow this and uh, probably mow some more probably mow to lunch or so today and then uh, we're gonna may go back and mow some more tomorrow I don't know whatever I need to watch the weather folks there and see what they say but uh, like I said it is hard to deal with Johnson grass I have uh, a couple farms that is terrible with Johnson grass we sprayed 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 uh, continues to spray. Uh, deers eat the beans off. We tried, and I let the Johnson grass come up, tried to hide the beans a little bit to give them a start, and then went in and sprayed them. And the deers had not been in there wallowing around in the Johnson grass and eat them up. So I tried to hide them. And I've done everything, sprayed them with uh, uh, some stuff of tombstone, I believe was the name of that. But anyway. Deers just will not leave them alone, especially when it's in a country where there's no population of people. No rackets, no cars, no nothing. Anywhere there's heavy traffic, you can most of the time have decent beans, but anywhere in the backwoods, hard to have beans. But anyway, I just rambling them on right here. We just, me and old Drake here, you can see him. We're, uh, Trying to get this done, we're going on down to another field right on side the river. And uh, then we're going to come back off the river and go back over on the Fisher River side, off the Yakin. We're going to go back over to Fisher. I got a couple of little hay fields over on the Fisher side. And then we're going to ease back towards the house and two more fields. 
but uh, we're going to have to get done because the corn ain't going to be far behind. And, uh, if we don't get this hay cut, we'll be caught in corn and hay both. And I really don't like to mow hay first of September because it does have a chance to come out and get a little shaggy. And landowners, you know, they want everything to look real nice and I want it to look nice for them. So, but uh, it will help make a good set of grass for next spring. Come next spring and if you mow it now, and I've already put that litter on there and it's set all winter long and uh, come back about October here, it'll be rolled grass real good and deep. And uh, it'll be a really, really good grass to uh, mow in the spring. And uh, you, you don't have to go through the winter scap. The whole top of it was scapped off. Anyway, I'll bring you back when we get down on the uh, other field down there. We probably got another 45 minutes here. We got this, and then we got to make uh, about three laps, cleanup laps on this field. I always try to make sure I get two to three good laps down in the woods to keep it from growing up. Uh, I like to keep it push back as much as I can. So anyway, we'll probably be down there in about an hour or so. I'll bring you back when we get down there and I'll show you that field. Well, back again. We are right along the Yakin River for this field. <clears throat> I had this field in my prop check video. Uh, Good cutting the hay off of this one, really good cutting. Shows you what a late applied uh, <clears throat> chicken litter I do. Really, and good set of blast with water. Really makes a difference. Uh, definitely gonna have to tether this. I got by the other day not tethering some, but this will definitely have to have some. Uh, shooting for about Tuesday to uh, rake and roll this. Let it lay the rest of the weekend. <coughs> we might try to do it Monday. I don't know. It's depending on what they uh, what they say on the weather. But if they hold it out, I'm going to hold out until about Tuesday. But it looks good. A good thick cut. Make right many rolls off this little patch right here. I said to myself a while ago, I said I'd love to have it corn, but then I said to myself I need the hay also. So everything is needed. Corn's needed, the hay is needed. So we just divide up. Each thing gets its own way here. But it really is good hay now. Uh, we'll be leaving here and we're going to head back towards the shop. And uh, cut one and then we'll probably uh, cut a little patch over there. I'll bring you back and show you another little patch we'll be at. We didn't bush hog this one. We didn't have as much Johnson Christ on it. The air conditioner is uh, run out of Freon and it's a little warm in here. Great piece of paint a little bit right there. So got to get back put some fuel in it. We're getting a little bit low on fuel and uh, get a little low on Freon. But uh, it's pretty good grass. It's they'll better snowball. They'll eat it, pick over it if anything else. But it does look good. Yeah, it's another little patch right down here, middle of nowhere. Just deer haven right in here. But again, it's just another stepping stone to go to the next project. Step one, step to another. Welcome to another day. Look what a pretty morning it is. Sun just coming up over on the hill. Cows out and about this morning. Getting ready to hit the hayfield again just in a little bit. I'm gonna make a school run and then we're heading out.
listen to wanting to play this morning. Bad. Thought I'd just show you what a pretty morning it is. Cows starting to go on off this morning. Cool and crisp, probably about 55, 56 this morning. Time to bring out the long britches now. All right, I'm gonna get you in a little bit. Well, you know, we're back at it this morning. Tractor windows a little fogged up this morning. I left it out there yesterday at the uh, fuel barrel. Got to put it on the shelf last night. Got a little patch here. Had some junk, bad Johnson grass on it. We bush hogged it. I've uh, been about two weeks ago. And uh, tried to get that big, heavy, thick Johnson grass down. And let it die out. And then we've come back in here now to mow it. Uh, looks like it's uh, pretty good little grass on it. Johnson grass smothered out a lot of the beds though. But overall, it looks pretty good. We got a couple patches we're gonna mow this morning. We mowed yesterday and uh, got those, uh, got to tether it probably tomorrow. But I believe that uh, this will be ready Monday or Tuesday one, or in that line, I don't know. We'll have to see. But outside of that, it made pretty good. It's got a good set of grass on it, but it's, just, it's places a little on the rougher side. We're on, along the Fisher River here on this little field. Uh, this field here had liquid nitrogen put on it, and uh, oh, we had wheat down in the, little, in the river bottom down there. But uh, the deers have wore the beans out down there. The beans are about an inch high. They was planted the same as them up yonder. Uh, about June, and they're about an inch high. So, anyway, as you can see, we got a fairly good cut. There's some Lespedeza in here. Johnson Grave, Fescue. It's a good belly filler better than a snowball in the winter time is all I can tell you that is but it worked pretty good to get that Johnson grass down that big stem the cows won't eat that big stem now and they'd rather have a if you're gonna cut Johnson grass you need to cut it when it's about boot high maybe a half knee high or something like that don't never let it get big stemmy they won't eat that big stems and you just wasting your time of mowing it you better off to go in and bush hog it and get rid of it that one still ain't even come unclogged right there but you're better off to bush hog it and get the big stem down and then come back and uh mow over it and let it die let that stuff go out of the way it's gonna get in the roll anyway but whatever's in there you can uh if the cow pick through it now, if you got a lot of heavy concentration of uh, big stemmy Johnson grass, they ain't much inclined to want none of that. Anyway, we rolling right on this morning. We'll show you another patch when we get up yonder. We're gonna be working on this one probably another 45 minutes to an hour. We have got another little spot up on the hill up there where we come out, and then we're gonna move to another spot. And it's another hunting ground also. So I'll uh, bring you back in just a little bit. Well, we've moved to the next spot and we are in another deer country. So we're on a pretty hill right here, overlooking a good view. But what I want to show you the worst part of this farm is look at the cuts of this farm right here has cuts I have the worst case of it. 
I've kept mowing it back, mowing it back, mowing it back. It's off that hill right there. Look right there. Look what a cut suit patch. And it keeps it going. It goes all the way up in the trees. Everywhere. Got a real cut in the hay right here. I've uh, bush hogged this also. And, uh, but look, I want you to look at the cuts of in the trees. They're everywhere. Just overtaking the trees. I don't know who brought cuts of over here, but whoever did, sure should have been kicked. From what I understand, they brought it over here as a rosy control or had it crawled or developed or something. I don't know. But anyway, that's what the deal is right here. That's a major cut of the Look at that in the trees. Right there. Drake, he's enjoying his morning. He said he'd be glad when we get done mowing. I told him we got a long ways to go. As you can see, the Johnson Drake is coming back out right here. But a really good set of under and grass right here. This is a pretty place right here. Be a beautiful place for a house sitting up on this hill right here. It just look far and wide right here. Nobody around. One house right there, old, uh, like a trailer. A lady lived in it. She passed away two years ago. Her son's got the place now. But uh, be a beautiful place for a big house up there on this hill. I want to show you that view again right here as we come back around. Look right here, you can see it just all around. See all the way around. See back towards Boonville right there. Now this is Dobson, Missouri County. Right over here is Yankee County. Another community called Boonville. You can see all the way around. Look what a cut in the hay right here. We've had a, been blessed with good rain and like we done like everywhere else, we put liquid nitrogen on this back in the uh, February. Mowed it in spring, mowed it again in June, and then put chicken litter on it. Now that bumped it. But kudzu, I just wanted to show you what a kudzu pack. And it's rough down in there. The kudzu has come up over that rough spot. But it's not going to wash. It keeps it from washing. I will. That's a, a bonus for it. But if you don't mow this field right here pretty often, uh, it wouldn't take much for it to uh, take your field right here. It'd take everything around here. If it wasn't mowed or sprayed. Two years, three years. Be on that house and everything would be nothing but a cut suit pack. But anyway, we're gonna move on. I think it's we might mow one or two more waterways or something. They throwed in a chance of rain for uh, Wednesday now, so I believe we might need to worry about what we've got and look after it first. I don't know. I'd like to uh, get. We've got right much more to mow. Different communities to go. But uh, right now we've come out of the Crutchfield community. We're coming back towards the Jenkins Town community right now. So uh, we're gonna work in there for a while. Maybe next week we'll go to Fairview and we'll work some in Fairview. Then we gotta go to Rockford, Richmond Hill over in Yakin County. We've got right much to do. And I don't think we'll be able to cut no corn for at least two weeks. I know we were talking about it last night. I don't think we're going to get to do much with it for two weeks. Love to cut some a little earlier, but don't know. But we still got plenty of corn in the bagging bin. So it's still slow. Both seasons started 1st of September here. So most time we get our sales deer corn before that, and then it slows back up September. And then they start back again about October. So, 
Anyway, just thought I'd bring you along here, let you see what kind of cutting we're doing. We get done, that's why I'll uh, take a little video of the mower. We're running at the Boda uh, DM 1024, 2020 model, and pulling it with a 399 Massey Ferguson tractor. I'm a Massey person, I've always been Massey. What I've grown up on with Massey Ferguson, so that's what we're used to. Can't beat a 399 Massey Ferguson with a uh, shuttle in it. I really do like it. This one's got about 30 some hundred hours on it. I've got another one just like it. You'll get to see it when we start rolling hay. But anyway, just thought I'd bring you along for a little tour here of this beautiful place. I like to show you the different places we go. It's all God's country. For sure and certain. He just allowed us to be a little caretaker for a short, short period of time. Life is short here and long over there and short here. That's one thing I always hang on to. Remember that. It's short here and a long time there and a short time here. Anyway, just thought I'd show you a little view right here. I'll bring you back a little bit and I'll show you the uh, ditch more and the tractor we might go down and do a couple waterways maybe another little bottom on the fishery river over in the jenkins town community after a while but i want to just show you that, that cut through though look at there 